Apollo Gauntlet is about a Canadian cop named Paul Cassidy who gets beamed to another world where he gets to fight crime in his own way, which is loaded with pop culture references. Let's hear some brundle flesh. And extreme violence. Part of the humor comes from Apollo being this sort of displaced figure, this kind of goofy everyman who's in this other world, and he deals with it in a very relaxed manner. What what the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. He's in the past or a different dimension, and he has to fight for good. But this this ordinary man is actually not very ordinary because he's super Canadian and super funny. <laughs> it's like Gulliver's don't travels up there. I thought you were gonna like my jokes. I'm Miles Langlois and I'm the creator of Apollo Gauntlet and I do the voice of the main character Apollo and the Gauntlet. I always think of it as like an actual good versus evil storyline. He really is a, an ethical, decent guy that wants to stop evil. I'm not making fun of superheroes, I'm kind of saying, no, he really is that, he's just not very smart, he's, he's trying to do it. This is a very sad day for heroism, very sad. Apollo's foil are these magical gauntlets who are played by Miles as well, and it's kind of like you somehow are able to create a great comedy team with yourself. We got a 5150 here. That's a big 10 4. The gauntlet is a real thing. The gauntlet is trying to help him fight evil in that world. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't laugh. Uh, this would be the worst possible time. Princess Daphne, yeah. she's um, the betrothed uh, to. Uh, <laughs> Orenthal Bellinus, the would-be king, future king of, of the, the realm. Apollo runs into her early on in the season and they form a dramatic love affair. I guess it's a love story, but it's trying to figure out how to make it work, I guess. Apollo? Uh, hi. Kelsey Abbott plays Daphne. Daphne is smarter than a lot of the men on the show and braver. Daphne sees that Apollo is a good man. I don't know if she gets his jokes, but um, maybe she appreciates that he likes to joke. As a vigilante, you, can, you gotta talk like this. You gotta talk like Nick Nolte. Every time Apollo sings or raps, it's my favorite thing. I want a CD of everything Miles comes up with. It's so funny. Try not to get killed is what I like to do, and when I make it, she ain't even thinking. She Look out, matey! There's a scary dude terrorizing the area. Heroes are Rubus, Superknife, Monty, Puff, and Apollo, I guess, is the leader. They needed a leader, so they just accepted him. So who are you exactly? I'm Apollo Gauntlet. James Urbaniak plays Dr. Benign, who is one of the villains of the show who is actually the reason why uh, Apollo is in this world in the first place, because that is his hobby, to beam people to different places. He accidentally beamed himself there in the process, too, so. Well, he's in the great tradition of mad scientists who tamper with what they shouldn't tamper with. We have. <laughs> We have Tom Kenny, who portrays uh, a, a, a lot of different characters. I play King Bellinus, Eros, Osborne King, Gruel the Demon, and a whole bunch of other crazy people. I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Ah! He plays a lot of characters that get uh, killed off. <laughs> he said that to me. He was like, why do you keep killing my characters off? Die! Damn you! Die! I started liking the other characters more than my character. <laughs> I guess because we hired like really funny actors and stuff, but I, was, I started to think these people should be the main characters of the show, not me. <laughs> I think it would be an interesting choice to have me do all the voices. I'm excited about the show. I think Miles is a very unique point of view. And you know, if this doesn't work out, I'm a fast typist and an excellent proofreader, so you know where to reach me if you need any help in the office.